Chemistry lecture number 55, empirical formulas. The empirical formula of a compound gives the smallest whole number ratio of atoms in a compound. A molecular formula gives the actual number of atoms in a molecule. Now let's take a look at this uh, Lewis structure of hydrogen peroxide. This structure above is made of two hydrogens and two oxygens. So here are each of the hydrogens and there's the oxygens. Now the ratio of hydrogen to oxygen in the compound is two to two, which can be reduced to one to one. And thus the empirical formula would be H1O1 or just HO. And the molecular formula would be H2O2. Here's another example. The structure above is made of uh, two carbons and six hydrogens, which gives us a ratio of two to six, or one to three. Uh, the empirical formula would be C1H3, and the molecular formula would be C2H6. And we can calculate the empirical formula of a compound if we know its percent composition by following the following steps. So, you assume that you have 100 grams of a compound and that the percent is the same as grams. Uh, convert percent or grams of the constituent elements into moles. You find the smallest whole number ratio of moles by dividing by the smallest number of moles. If you don't get small whole numbers, <coughs> excuse me, try multiplying your answer from step 2 by the numbers 2 through 8 to convert the values to something close to whole numbers. And you're going to use something called an if-then chart in deciding how to multiply the numbers. Now I'll explain what all these rules mean uh, by giving uh, some specific examples of problem solving. That is our if-then chart. Uh, we're going to use this chart to help us solve a few of these problems. So we're going to set this aside. Okay, so here's our problem. <clears throat> a compound is 25.9% nitrogen and 74.1% oxygen. Find the empirical formula. All right, so we're just going to assume that we have 100 grams of sample and that this is 25.9 grams of nitrogen and 74.1 grams of oxygen. And we're going to convert each of these into moles. So we have 25.9, not percent, but 25.9 grams of nitrogen. On the periodic chart, nitrogen is 14 grams per mole. So this conversion tells us we have 1.85 moles of nitrogen. And then we take 74.1% or 74.1 grams of oxygen and convert that into moles. On the periodic chart, one mole of oxygen is 16 grams. So converting that, that leaves us with 4.63 moles of oxygen. Now, the next step, look at these two numbers and which is the smaller number? Well, 1.85 is smaller than this number. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide both of these numbers by 1.85. So if we do that, 1.85 divided by itself gives us 1. 4.63 divided by 1.85 gives us 2.5. So the ratio of uh, oxygen to nitrogen is 2.5 to 1. But we want a whole number ratio. So <clears throat> to get a whole number ratio, see how this ends in 0.5? Well, on our little if-then chart, if it ends in 0.5, multiply it by 2. So we're going to multiply both of these by 2 and then the whole number ratio 1 times 2 is 2, 2.5 times 2 is 5, the whole number ratio is um, 5 to 2. So our empirical formula then is going to be N2O5. That's our answer. That's the empirical formula of our compound, the ratio of nitrogen to oxygen, two to five. Let's try another one. Find the empirical formula of a compound that's 87.2% carbon and 12.8% hydrogen. <clears throat> Again, we assume that we have a 100 gram sample, so we can say this is 87.2 grams of carbon and 12.8 grams of hydrogen. So, to convert grams of carbon into moles of carbon, we'll divide it by 12. This is taken off the periodic chart, and we get 7.27. 12.8 grams of hydrogen, to convert that into moles of hydrogen, we'll divide that by 1.01. .01. We're taking numbers off the periodic chart in uh, units of uh, three significant digits. Anyway, that is the number of moles of carbon and hydrogen that we have. The smallest number between these two is 7.27, so we're going to divide both of these numbers by 7.27. If we do that, 
7.27 divided by itself is 1. And then 12.7 divided by 7.27 gives us 1.75. So the ratio of moles is 1.75 to 1. But we want whole number ratios. Well, let's see. 0.75 on our little if-then chart, if it ends in 0.75, we'll multiply everything by 4. So if we do that, we should get whole numbers. So, multiply times 4, 1 times 4 is 4, 1.75 times 4 is 7, so the whole number ratio of carbon-hydrogen is 4 to 7. So our empirical formula of our compound is C4H7. That's our answer. One more problem. Find the empirical formula of a compound that's 52.1% carbon and 13.1% hydrogen and 34.7% oxygen. So, 52.1 grams of carbon, <clears throat> and then we'll divide that by 12 to give us the moles of carbon, 4.34. And then we have 13.1% or 13.1 grams of hydrogen, so we'll divide that by 1.01. .01 taken off the periodic chart. One mole of hydrogen is 1.01 .01 to three significant digits. Anyway, that'll give us 13 moles of uh, hydrogen. And then 34% or 34.7 grams of oxygen. <clears throat> From the periodic chart, 16 grams of oxygen make a mole of oxygen. So if we convert that, that gives us 2.17 moles of oxygen. So we've converted all these percentages into moles. And then, of these three, what's the smallest number? Well, the smallest number is 2.17. So, if we divide each of these by 2.17, we'll get the ratio of moles. So, 4.34 divided by 2.17, that's pretty much zero, two, I mean, 2.00. And then 13 uh, divided by 2.17, that's gonna give us 5.99. Now that is so close to the whole number of six, we're just gonna go ahead and round that to six. So you can go ahead and round it in that, this way when you get to the uh, final step. And then 2.17 divided by 2.17 is one. <coughs> now, each of these is either very, very close to a whole number or they are whole numbers. So we don't need to use the if-then chart. All right. So since we don't need to use the if-then chart, the ratio of carbon to hydrogen to oxygen is 2 to 6 to 1. So the empirical formula of this compound is C2H6O. All right. So there's our answer. That is the empirical formula of our compound. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been Chemistry Lecture Number 55, Empirical Formulas.